Stoke-on-Trent City Council has announced plans to save a further £20 million from its budget for next year. It'll mean jobs are lost and some fees and charges will increase. It's also predicting it'll have to find £100 million of savings over the next four years. Well, our Staffordshire reporter Liz Copper is outside their offices right now. What details are the council given about these proposed cuts, Liz? Well, all the details are contained in this pretty large, hefty document that was handed to councillors and to journalists earlier today. And it goes through point by point how the council plans to save this sum of £20 million. Pounds. There'll be some job losses, around 150 jobs will go, and we understand about 80 of those posts are currently vacant. Some things will increase, so charges, for example, car parking charges, they're expected to go up by about 3.8% over the city in the next year or so. Also, cremation fees, they'll go up by £35. Some things will be reduced, so for example, grass cutting on the council's verges, that will be scaled back. And there'll also be changes, for example, to library services in some parts of the city. In addition to all of that, the council currently has plans to sell off some of its buildings and it thinks there'll be more savings once those buildings are disposed of. As for council tax, well, the council says it'll be freezing council tax next year. Has there been any reaction so far, Liz? Well, as you can imagine, with a, a big, hefty document like this, um, what people are doing now is going through in detail and digesting what it means. The Labour City Council leader has said that cuts of this order in the long term are unsustainable. The City Independents, who are the opposition party here, they say they want more clarity, more clarity on the detail of what these plans actually mean. Voters, well, they get the chance to have their say. There's a public consultation that starts tomorrow and runs right up until Christmas. Liz, thank you. Export.